All right, everyone. So today I will be reviewing the Comte of Interest Plus. Yesterday it was the official release and launch of the Comte of Interest Plus. Previously, in the last or the past three months, it was the beta testing which I did, and I passed the exam yesterday. Uh, and the results were released officially yesterday. But from now on, okay. The official exam is launched and expect more courses, more contents, more study guides regarding this search. Okay. So second, Compte Apprentice Plus. Who should take this pen this certificate? Basically, Compte Apprentice Plus is a new certificate issued by Compte in the field of pen testing or red team. But uh, it's pretty much valuable, especially if you don't have OSCP. Okay. And if you need some practical, some a bit of practical experience, and you don't have OSCP, I recommend you take Compte Apprentice Plus. It tests or proves that the candidate who took the exam and passed the exam, it proves that this candidate has a good understanding of the theories and concepts of pen testing, in addition to some bit, um, some uh, practical experience on pen testing. So what kind of questions you will see on CompTIA Ventus Plus? Basically, you will see here, as I said, the CompTIA Ventus Plus, okay? It has performance-based questions and multiple-choice questions. What do they mean by performance-based questions? It doesn't mean that you will have machines or access to uh, vulnerable machines like in the case of OSCP. Rather, you will be tested and you will see scripts and snippets of commands you need to interpret, understand, analyze, assess and write the correct answer of what the script does or what the command uh, does or I mean what's the objective of the command of the script in some instances you need to complete the command or you need to, to, to select the correct answer that answer what is the objective of this script or command so yes the performance basic questions have only scripts or scripts or commands okay you need to understand them in order to select the correct answer okay sorry so the passing grade is 750 and if you pass this certificate or the pass the exam and you have the certificate it proves that as I said, you have the foundational concepts of penetration testing, vulnerability management, communication, reporting, and so on. So you will be tested practically and theoretically. That's the basic difference of, between Pentest Plus and CEH, which is a purely a theoretical certificate that focuses on the candidate's knowledge or testing the candidate's knowledge about the theoretical aspect of penetration testing. So it's pretty much above CH in terms of the level required to pass the exam and in terms of the practical experience you need to pass you need to in order to pass the cert. Basically there are no prerequisites for the cert. You can take this you can take Pentest Plus directly without any prerequisite. You don't need to have Security Plus or any previous cert in order to set for the exam. Okay. But it's recommended that you have some three to four years of hands-on information security or related experience. Okay. So, do you need to take the Ventus Plus or not? Pretty much, if you don't have OSCP and you have foundational concepts of Open Test Plus with a bit of hands-on experience, you can try your hands on this pen test or this certificate. And it's like it's intermediate certificate, and it's not advanced certificate like OSCP. So your next step, if you take the Pentest Plus, your next step is OSCP. Okay. So let me show you now what are the concepts, uh, what are the uh, main issues that you may find in the exam. So basically, I need you to focus on. Oh, it's my message. Okay. So to pass the exam, okay, you need, as I said before hands-on experience and foundational concept in main testing and vulnerability management in addition to nmap you need to master nmap commands okay by scripting 
you don't need to write bash um, uh, code in the exam but you need to understand what a bash if you are presented with a bash script you need to understand what it does a bit of web app exploitation as I said you will you will, um, you will not see any instance of I mean let's say SQL injection or cross-site scripting but you need to understand what is SQL injection and what is cross-site scripting and if you are presented with some vulnerable web page or vulnerable code you need to identify what is the vulnerability that this code is vulnerable for okay planning and scoping you understand the concept how to plan for the pen testing how to prepare the pen testing plan the scope uh, determine the scope of the pen testing plan for example let's say I have a pen testing plan and I need to um, scan or uh, say let's say determine the vulnerabilities of specific network in my specific VLAN on my network say let's say um, the, uh, the local network okay if my I need to determine my scope of the scanning or the pen testing you understand that the planning and scoping that is determined in the main document of the pen testing plan five a bit of Python and payroll well the amount of knowledge you need in Python and Perl match or matches the same amount of bash scripting knowledge you need. You don't need to write codes, you just need to understand and interpret. Communication and management. Basic concepts about communicating the pen testing results to the clients or to your supervisor or to, your, to this, the, up, the upper management. How to communicate the results effectively. Uh, you don't need to understand or you don't need to write a report in the exam of course but you need to understand the basic elements of the report how the report is written what are the basic um, thing things that you include what are the um, uh, issues or instances that you need to rule out from your report for the assessment tools like Acunetics and OWASP Nikto those are tools you need to be familiar with, okay, at least to achieve the objective of this exam, which is testing the candidate knowledge on pen testing and vulnerability assessment. So you need a good knowledge of pen testing, or oh, sorry, vulnerability assessment tools. Exploitation. Okay, what I mean by exploitation is, of course, you will not exploit in real time, but you need to understand the foundational concepts of exploitation, for example. Um, you, you understand if an XSS vulnerability if it's exploited, what's gonna happen? What are the main um, repercussions of exploiting an XSS vulnerability? How to exploit an XSS vulnerabilities? Theoretically, theoretically speaking, not practically. Okay, so that's that's it. That's for the main um, ideas or the terms for the exam. Okay, so how the certificate looks like? Basically, this is, if you pass the exam, you'll receive the certificate, and it looks like this. And additionally, let me show you that um, some resources that you may uh, look at to prepare for the exam. So you have here. Um, there is a course on Udemy made by Jason on Pen Test Plus. So basically, yes. So this course, I think, this is one made. No, I don't know, but you will find. I will put down. I don't have the links right now, but I will put down in the video description a couple of links about the exam preparation and till now there is no official study guide from CompTIA for the certificate but I mean the Udemy course is okay and if you write here there's a course I recommend it's made by Jason on Pentest plus let me show you the course yes that's it 
So this course is taught by Jason Dean and I recommend you to have this course okay and attend this course for preparation in order to pass the exam and I will put down in the link uh, in the video description I'll put down some of the links in addition to the uh, Facebook group that you may join in order to discuss and prepare okay so that's it for today thank you for watching